Well, welcome everybody. You join us here for our coverage of what is set to be a truly exciting final. Formalities are underway. Everybody is soaking up an energetic, highly charged atmosphere within the ground. The teams will be with us very shortly. We look forward, of course, to that special moment. In the meantime, we take in the feeling of excitement and euphoria ahead of what should be a really outstanding final. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. Both teams, Jim, eyeing the ultimate prize here, unerring focus and determination in all of those eyes. Yes, Peter, I've been a, a winning finalist and I've been a, a losing finalist and I don't need to tell anyone what I preferred. Winning will help fans remember you for a long, long time, so I sincerely wish both teams well and hope that all the players can give a good account of themselves and, and you've heard it before, may the best team do it. Well, this is it. As with a lot of finals, caution plays a big part in the opening stages, but an early goal can blow all that away, so I hope that we can uh, create a, a, an attacking contest here, which, which obviously we want for this showpiece. And he's got the ball glued to his feet. That intervention was very necessary. Marco Verratti. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Hits one! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Marco Verratti sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Sergio Ramos is an obvious threat from set pieces. He needs special attention to stop making a run. Forward it goes. Cedric Suarez gets wrestled off the ball. And here's Messi. Messi spreads it towards the left. Well, they could break here. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. He got a decent fist on that. Partey. Partey. If you have just joined us, well, you've missed no goals. And here's Lacazette. Out to the right. Granit Xhaka Odegaard Now it's Pepe Now it's Lac Lacazette Oh, fine stop from the keeper Well, as Tesco Keaton, the keeper has just received an A-plus grade Partey gets it back all the way back and they start again. Gabriel. And here's Lacazette. Barcelona, 
Messi. Berati goes looking, and now the breakaway. That's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Tierney. Aubameyang. Oh, good interception. Odegaard. Hoists it high. Mara. He is there to heave it away. Pepe battles to win it back. It's the through ball. Pepe absolutely focused it. And Aubameyang! Yes, it's in! Could that be the start of something big? And how about the timing of the pass and run? They've worked it before and no doubt they'll work it again. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. Odegaard, Aubameyang hits it back, Pepe, and he's shown him a clean pair of... Hits one! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him with the ability he has, he can reproduce. Marco Verratti. Paris Saint-Germain couldn't do a whole lot with it there. They could do with more sharpness in their passing. Yeah, he's fouled him there. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Xhaka plays it forward. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. So there you have it, a close sport half of football. It still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. More than decent game up to now. Half time in the final, Jim. How do you read it? Paris Saint Germain are in desperate need of some character and inspiration, and they need it now. And if you're just back from your break, you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half. Well, it seems like the perfect situation for fortune favouring the brave. 45 minutes to pack in enough risk-taking to get this match turned around. It's very doable. Di Maria! It's a goal! Paris Saint-Germain are back on level terms. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Well, I think two keepers would have had a hard time keeping that one out, never mind one. There was real venom in the strike and, and clear composure from the placement. Paris Saint-Germain grab the equaliser and we're all square. Yeah, it's a very good contest with two very good sides and with such great individual talent on show, it could go either way. That's a promising ball. Going through. He's gone for it. It's in! Well, this guy is just not your average footballer. Alert and sharp. And while one or two others were still digesting the manager's half-time team talk, he's already delivering another lead. What a good player. 
His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Paris Saint-Germain can make their change now with uh, a break in play. Arsenal go into the lead. Odegaard. Cedric Suarez. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Now it's Neymar. Oh, great save, real class. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. But this is exactly the approach they have to take now, Peter. Yeah. Hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Can he deliver? Oh, goes for goal! A wonderful effort all by himself. What a chance, a huge chance. He couldn't have set it up any better. Bernat. And it's Neymar. Bon. Positions himself well and cuts it out. And it's played forward. He spotted the run and played him through. Great challenge, time to perfection. Questions, and they've been caught out here. Mbappe. Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right, and he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Up he gets! Another chance! They've done it! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Aubameyang at his razor-sharp best there. Oh, look, there's only one player who merits all the praise for that. Not only did he finish it, but his instincts for being where he was, absolutely top-notch. But there's going to be another change here. Arsenal two up and into a position of real strength. That has the feeling of a breath of fresh air, Peter, and now they can fill their lungs and, and just blow them away. He's played him through. Now it's Aubameyang. Aubameyang. Keira plays it forward. Messi with a long pass. Now it's Neymar. Goes for goal! And somehow he managed to miss it. It's a good display of fighting spirit for me. And the referee.
referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Rapidly approaching the end, Paris Saint-Germain are on the point of first-round elimination. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Well, it's Lacazette. Pepe. Tierney. There's a long ball. Has a pop! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. Paredes. Kuzawa. Needed to be better there, that's a wasted chance. Pepe. Time added on four minutes. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. Kazawa drives it forward. Neymar is onto it and can take it up. And it's Di Maria. Di Maria. Mbappe has a shot! The final whistle and the end. Paris Saint-Germain fall at the final hurdle. They gave it everything, but it was a bridge too far. And so it ends in pain as the glory goes elsewhere.